नमस्कार दोस्तों न्यूज क्लिक की आज की खास पेशकश में हम बात करेंगे बाबा साहब भीमराव अंबेडकर की और उनकी बात हम करेंगे मोदी सरकार की नई जो पहल हुई है किस तरह से बाबा साहब भीमराव अंबेडकर जिन विचारों के लिए जिस विचारधारा के लिए वे जाने जाते थे उसके ठीक उलट उनको मोदी सरकार किस तरह से एक पायस पर्सनालिटी एक प्योर पर्सनालिटी एक तीर्थ में बदल रही है बाबा साहब भीमराव अंबेडकर के संघर्ष से भरे पूरे जीवन को इसके लिए सरकार ने जो बुकलेट जारी की है जिसके हर पन्ने पर प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी मौजूद हैं बाबा साहब भीमराव अंबेडकर मौजूद हैं कि नहीं है लेकिन हर पन्ने पर तकरीबन हर पन्ने पर प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी मौजूद हैं और हर जगह हर चैप्टर में कथन बाबा साहब भीमराव अंबेडकर का नहीं है शुरू से लेकर आखिरी तक जो आपको स्क्रीन पर इस समय दिखाई दे रहा है हर जगह जो पांच तीर्थ बताए हैं उन्होंने बाबा साहब भीमराव अंबेडकर की जिंदगी के बारे में उन पांचों तीर्थों के बारे में जब बात हो रही है तब एक भी उदाहरण बाबा साहब भीमराव अंबेडकर का नहीं है हर जगह प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी का कथन है तो इस तरह से जो पूरी उनकी विरासत है संघर्षशील विरासत है जाति के खिलाफ जो उनका संघर्ष है उस सब को धो पोच कर एक दूसरे तीर्थ में तब्दील करने की जो साजिश मोदी सरकार कर रही है इस पर हमने बातचीत की दीप्ति सुकुमार से दीप्ति दलित आंदोलन दलित महिला आंदोलन पितृसत्ता से टकराते आंदोलन के साथ साथ गहरी अंबेडकरवादी सोच रखने वाली महिला नेता हैं दीप्ति न्यूज क्लिक में आपका स्वागत है पहली चीज जो पांच तीर्थ आया है ये जो अभी हमने बुकलेट देखी वट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस यू फाइंड इन दिस इसमें क्या आपको इंपॉर्टेंट बात लगती है क्यों मोदी सरकार इसे लेकर आई है पांच तीर्थ अराउंड बाबा साहब भीमराव अम्बेडकर नाउ डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर फॉर एवरी दलित especially for the little women like me who are in a movement and who are also uh, talking about uh, struggles of oppression struggles of exploitation and discrimination for us ambedkar is a very very important person in this country one he is he is the most important person so his words his 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 readings his speeches his writings we read them again and again to get in not only to get inspiration but also to lead us to direct us in the in the way that we are going so every action that we take or every uh, every kind of struggle that we are undertaking every movement that we are taking on or any campaign that we are taking on we read ambedkar's text we read ambedkar's speeches and we get we we get educated by them again and again सबसे ज्यादा तर्कवान व्यक्ति हैं और आपको जब भी आगे बढ़ने की जरूरत होती है तो आप अंबेडकर को पढ़ती है कि आगे का रास्ता क्या हो जी सो ही रोड मैप वॉट एवर हिज स्पीचेस आर हिज डायरेक्शन इज दैट इज अ रोड मैप फॉर अस सो यू नो वेन बी सी दैट लाइक वॉट इज है नाउ सो दर्ड्स दैट आर बींग यूज एंड वॉट एवर द मैसेजेस दैट आर कमिंग आउट Uh, about around Dr. Ambedkar, really, you know, con- connected to Dr. B. R. Ambedkar is very disturbing at the moment, because for us his ideology is one that is rationalist and one that is very logical, especially in the context of this the kind of superstition that we see. Because for us the caste itself is a superstition; it's an evil. It's an evil and it's a superstition because it has divided a people. Mas jati ek jati andhvishwas hai aur jati desh ko todne wali hai. Ji. Yes, the 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 entire the caste has divided the entire nation into so many people. Like it's we're not one people at all. We cannot say that we are all you know uh, one uh, pe- people of one country. No, we are so many different castes. We have different kinds of uh, we are we are treated differently. We are treated unequally. So how can we all be? And this is a democracy. Yeah. This is a const. We are having a constitution which says that we are all equal, but we don't feel equal. so that is the important thing for us so we go we go back to dr ambedkar because of what he has said about equality about liberty about fraternity about justice about dignity we go back to him again and again because it's not just it's not just that we go to him for leadership not just to for go to him for direction but we also go for a comfort for a consolation to know that such a great man who mattered so much in this country who gave the constitution for this country was one of us i mean that he has written all these things for us 
and then the, this the words that are being used in this entire booklet now we have read this booklet now the, the words like pious the words like purity, purity. Huh. So these are not words that we would use at all in our any any language at all we never use the word pure you know pure the, the word pure itself is an unequal word so it, it, it immediately gives an image of inequality that something else is impure somebody else is impure some other place is impure Impure by saying that one place is pure, so does that make another place impure? So that is that is where Swachha or Swachha. yes, that is where inequality comes from. So you don't call anything pure. There's nothing pure. It's all it's it's everything is equal. That's how that's how that that's what Ambedkar has taught. Mm -hmm. But if you look at this Panchatir, it is so disappointing that there is not a word spoken by Dr. B R Ambedkar anywhere in this uh, entire booklet. You search for it. But not only is it disturbing, but also there's a kind of feeling of threat when you look at. We feel threatened. It's it's so dangerous because one entire ideology of of rationalism, entire ideology, ideology of logic, an ideology of equality, liberty, fraternity, and an ideology where everything is considered to be on the same level of you know humanity, is being superimposed by another ideology which is having purity as its basis. Pious. Which is having pious as its basis and pilgrimage to certain places so by, by that you are just iconizing a place and now this is something that you do either to a, a person to a, to a kind of a personality or to a character whom you have placed above like some god or goddess or somebody who, who has who's died, died who is dead mm. so you know that is something very threatening for us so what is happening if even ambedkar ideology gets superimposed by some other uh, ideology which is not at all what we want then what will happen to us hmm, kyunki isme ek bhi shabd jati nahi hai caste kahi bhi shabd istemal nahi kiya hinduism ke khilaf jo pura struggle tha riddles of hinduism jo bahut important kitab hai डॉक्टर अम्बेडकर की उसका जिक्र नहीं है जाति का उन्मूलन एनिवेशन ऑफ कास्ट इसका जिक्र नहीं है सो दे जो उनका पूरे जीवन का संघर्ष है महाड़ आंदोलन उसका जिक्र नहीं है तो वो जो सारे क्रिटिकल पॉइंट्स हैं और एक चीज और दीप्ति इसमें जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बनाने का काम है जिसके लिए आज देश का जहां भी बाबा साहब की मूर्ति लगती है वहां पर अम्बेडकर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन को हाथ में लेके खड़े हैं मैं पंचतीर्थ को देख रही थी कहीं भी इस बात का जिक्र या उल्लेख या उसको एक आइकन के तौर पे जिस दिन उन्होंने कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सौंपा एज अ चेयर उसका कहीं जिक्र नहीं दिखाई देता वो एक इम्पोर्टेंट सिग्निफिकेंट डे के तौर पे इस पंचतीर्थ में उल्लेख नहीं है उसका एक्चुअली अम्बेडकर इन लास्ट स्पीच दैट ही मेड Because the constitution has come, they they all became meaningless. Because the constitution has given us constitutional methods to to assert our rights, to 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 struggle for our equality, to ask for our equality, to raise our voice, to ask questions, to challenge any policies mm -hmm. or anything that is done by the by the establishment on something that we are not comfortable with, that 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 we feel that is acting against. the people of this country acting against especially the people who are in a minority who are marginalized who are poor or who are having some socio economic challenges who are social economic challenges you know for them for us people like us the constitution is something that has given us a way a method a right to assert to be assertive to assert our equality but then when uh, but then when the constitution itself is being the constitutional methods itself are being you know silenced the constitutional methods itself are being kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, superimposed a kind of there's there's like a voice over on this whole kind of thing so that is what this punch teeth when you look at it itself it's like it's very it's very scary it's what very happening yeah mm -hmm. it's it's such a it's one rakshas over there no what to do so where you know what is happening over here so mm -hmm. where dr amit dr amit has said all these things So where are all those things going? Now? Are you are you going to just wipe them all out with something? Because everything that is being said, and there is so much of imagery, and there is so much of kind of uh, you know what, um, so much of uh, a force. It's a kind of a force with which it is being enforced upon people, like something that is coming onto you, and which will just kind of 
settle upon settle upon anybody it's so easy you know for people to just believe and to have this conviction when such a powerful force and with so much of lighting and all that is coming on to you you just look at it like that or I mean, you you can't uh, it's difficult to challenge so then what do we do so this is what you know you can't do this people should not do this the leadership of this country should not do such a thing i mean you can't take a person a person whom the whom a kind of an oppressed community has actually taken their ideology are taking their power from you this is a this is a very purposeful method very systematically this is being used as punch teeth is being used to disempower an already struggling community बहुत साफ साफ दिखाई दे रहा है कि इस बहाने पंचतीर्थ के बहाने अम्बेडकर को एक अलग सा नया भगवान और ऐसा भगवान जो आम आदमी से बहुत दूर और जिन मुद्दों पर सबसे बड़ी बात जो आपने कही कि जिन मुद्दों पर अम्बेडकर काम करते रहे जिसके लिए वो जाने जाते हैं उन सब पर वॉइस ओवर उस पर लीपा पोती करके नए ढंग से कलर करके दूसरे ढंग से अम्बेडकर को पेश करना और कॉप्ट करना मुझे लगता है कि yes. जो पूरी कोशिश है कि वो अंबेडकर को कॉप्ट करके आगे की रणनीति अपनी बनाए कि हमने क्योंकि हर एक पंचतीर्थ में जितने चैप्टर हैं उसमें सब यही बताया गया है कि अंबेडकर के बारे में सारी सोच प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने कब शुरू किया कब इनोग्रेट किया एक पैरा उस जगह के बारे में है जहां पे वो जन्मे जहां एजुकेशन हासिल हुई जहां पर वो आगे गए जहां पे चैत भूमि दीक्षा भूमि सबका जिक्र है लेकिन उससे बड़ा जिक्र इस बात का है और फोटो में भी मतलब बहुत मजेदार बात है कि यहाँ पर फोटो अंबेडकर से ज्यादा प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी की सो नाउ यू जस्ट सीन ऑल दीज फाइव प्लेसेस दे गोइंग टू बिकम पिलग्रिमेज प्लेसेस इट्स गोइंग टू बी रेड्यूस टू प्लेसेस वेयर यू जस्ट गोइंग पुट सम फ्लावर्स एंड बो योर हैंड्स फोल्ड योर हैंड्स बो यू हेड फोल्ड योर हैंड्स एंड कम अवे वेन यू जस्ट रेड्यूस इट टू अ प्लेस फॉर पिलग्रिमेज where you just go and nothing is nothing is being said about that even in that in the booklet what is this just one line that people have converted to buddhism that's not it it's about liberation mm. it's about liberty it's it's, it's about freedom it's about it, it's about breaking the shackles of oppression and the that's caste the, and, and the caste, caste and the religion and the caste because he said that i don't want to die as a hindu yes. the pain yes. in this world yes The whole sentence tells the whole journey of Ambedkar yes. that I don't want me yes, Hindu के तौर पर Hindu I will not die हाँ कि मैं Hindu के तौर पर पैदा हुआ लेकिन मैं Hindu के तौर पे मरना नहीं चाहता That was the most important सबसे जरूरी political statement जो Ambedkar ने दिया And they at least put up these kind of quotes of Ambedkar where 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 in all these places his quotes about equality about caste about gender everything and all these things that may be that may also work but now not this by just putting a kind of a piousness making them into temples making them into places of worship no that's not what we want ji these are places of liberation liberation yes. to ambedkar nishchit taur par mark darshak hain road map dikhane wale hain aur mukti ka rasta dikhane wale ambedkar hain aur shayad isi dar se अंबेडकर को एक भगवान बनाने की साजिश बड़े पैमाने पर रची जा रही है शुक्रिया